Hello everyone, welcome to MSc online classes. In the previous classes, we have discussed about what is a polynomial, what are the types of polynomial. And today, we will discuss about the polynomial in one variable. Okay? So, at first, we have to know what is a polynomial in one variable. As we know, a polynomial has three parts. Okay? What are they? They are coefficients, they are variables and exponent. These three parts combine together to form a polynomial and the condition is that the exponent must be a non-negative integer. Okay. So, what is a polynomial in one variable? Suppose, let us take an example. It is a square or you can say it is a rectangle. Okay. It is a rectangle. If its breadth is x and its length is x plus 4. Okay. So, what will be its area? As you know, the area of rectangle is length into breadth. That is x plus 4 whole into x using distributive law x x x square plus 4 into x 4x. Hence, the area of the rectangle is x square plus 4x. It has two terms. Okay. One is x square, another is 4x. In x square, the variable is x. Here also the variable is x. Here the exponent is 2. And here the exponent is 1. Okay. So, in these two cases or in these two terms, we have the same variable. And the total expression. This expression contains only one variable. What is that? That is x. Okay. So, in this algebraic expression, it has only one variable. That is x. Since the expression contains only one variable, so it is known as algebraic expression or polynomial in one variable. Okay. So, what is polynomial in one variable? So, any polynomial which contains only single variable is called polynomial in one variable. Understood? Let us take one more example. Suppose we have an equator triangle. Okay? If it, each side is A. Hmm. So, what will be the perimeter of equilateral triangle? 3 into side. Yes or no? Yes. So, it will be 3 into A. It will be 3A. It is also an algebraic expression. Okay. So, in this algebraic expression, the variable is A and the exponent is 1. Since it contains only single variable, so it is also known as a polynomial in one variable. So, the easy definition of this statement is, what is that a polynomial, okay, which contains how many variables? Only one variable. Okay. It is called polynomial in one variable. Okay. Polynomial in one variable. So we can easily determine which is a polynomial in one variable and which is not. Okay. Let us take one more example. Suppose this is a rectangle. Okay. If its length is x, hmm? if its breadth is y, then what is its perimeter? As we know, the perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth. So 2 into x plus y. It will be how much? Using distributive law 2x plus 2y. So it has also two terms. One is 2x and one is 2y. And in this two term, it has the variable x and it has the variable y. And the total term is known as algebraic expression or a polynomial. Since this polynomial contains two terms and these two terms have different variables. 
one has x variable one has y variable so this is not a polynomial in one variable this is a polynomial in two variable okay so we can easily identify what is the or who, which one is the polynomial in one variable and which one is the polynomial in two or three or the more than three variable okay understood one more example suppose x square plus x plus 3 okay plus x to the power 5 it is an algebraic expression in this algebraic expression we have four terms and these four terms are unlike terms okay here the variable is x here the variable is x here also the variable is x why because 3 can be written as 3x to the power 0 and here also the variable is x since all these four cases the variable is x or variable is one single term so it is a polynomial in one variable okay understood another thing you have to remember that for a polynomial in one variable suppose we will take an example suppose we have x square plus x plus 1 so it is a polynomial in one variable because it contains x it contains x it also contains x because one can be written as 1 into x to the power 0 so a polynomial always written abbreviatory as p of x amane what a polynomial ko ame p of x throw re lekhi pare why we are written as p of x it means p means polynomial okay p it is a polynomial so we can write it as p means polynomial then bracket means of x means the polynomial is expressed in terms of x that's why we are written as p of x okay suppose we have x plus 1 then it is also a polynomial or not it is also a polynomial and it is expressed in which variable in x variable so we can write p of uh, x plus 1 as polynomial of x clear suppose we have an example y square plus y it is also a polynomial in which variable it is expressed in y variable that's why we are written as p means polynomial of y okay because polynomial is expressed in terms of y okay if uh, one more example if a polynomial is in the form x plus y then what we will do it is not a polynomial in one variable it is a polynomial in two variable in such cases we can write it as since it is also a polynomial we can write it as p of it is expressed in which and which variable x and y so we can write it as p of x comma y clear so if the polynomial is in two variable then we can write it such as okay if the polynomial is in this form y plus z then it is also a polynomial in three variable in such cases we can write it as it is a polynomial of which 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 variable x comma y comma z so clear we can write a polynomial in either p of x p of y p of x of x comma y or p of x comma y comma z clear to the next session of this today's topic that is degree of polynomial what is it it is degree of polynomial as you know a polynomial is an algebraic expression now the unknown term is degree what is the meaning of degree degree is nothing but the exponents or it is also known as power okay so what is a degree degree is the power or exponents as we read 2 to the power 3 as how much 8 2 when 2 is multiplied 3 times it will give what 8 and we read it as 2 to the power 3 to the power 3 similarly this is also read as x to the power 2 so x power 2 this is known as y to the power 3 so these 3 this 2 and this 3 are known as the exponents term or they are known as power so this power or exponent is also known as degree understood 
So, what is degree of polynomial? The degree of polynomial is the highest power of the variable in an algebraic expression. What is it? The degree is the highest power of the variable. Okay. For example, we have an algebraic expression like x to the power 3. It is an algebraic expression. It is a monomial term because it contains single term. Okay. According to the definition, what is the degree? Degree is the highest power of the variable. So, variable is the highest power of the variable. Degree is the So, here the variable is x. And what is the exponent or power of x? That is 3. So, since it contains only one term and that one term has variable x and the power of the x is 3. Hence, the highest power of x is 3 and 3 is known as the degree of monomial. Understood? This is known as the degree of monomial. Let us take one more example so that it is easy. Suppose we have x square plus 2x. Okay? It is a binomial term. It contains two terms and each term are or the two terms are unlike term. Okay. In these two cases, for this variable is x. For this variable is same x. Okay. Now, here the power of the exponent is how much? 2. And here the power is 1. Understood? So, whenever comparing these two terms, we found that in these two term variable are equal. But, they have different exponents or power. It has 2 as power, it has 1 as power. Which one is the highest? This one is the highest. So, which term has highest power? This term has highest power. And what is that? That is 2. So, what is the degree of this binomial expression? The degree of this binomial expression is 2. Okay. So, we can define what is the degree. So, what is the degree? Degree is the highest power of the variable in an algebraic expression. Okay. It's called a degree of polynomial. But the algebraic expression is the variable of the highest power of the variable. Degree of the variable. Okay. So, one more example you can take. Suppose we have x plus y. So, this is also an algebraic expression. But it is an algebraic expression in two variables. It is not in one variable. Here the variable is x. And here the variable is y. Understood? Here the exponent or the power is how much? 1. Here also the power is how much? 1. Okay. So in this two terms, unlike terms, though they have different variables, but each variable has the power 1. It is also 1. It is also 1. So which one is the highest? This may be highest. This may be highest. So, the highest degree is 1 hence, or the highest power is 1. So, the degree of the polynomial is 1. Okay. So, we are clear about the degree of polynomial. Okay. So, degree means the highest power of the variable. So, now let us take some example. Okay. Suppose, we have an algebraic expression that is x. Okay. In this case, the highest power is how much? 1 since it is a monomial. So, its highest power is 1 and the degree is and the degree is 1. In this case, it is a binomial. It contains two unlike terms. So, it is a binomial. Here, the highest power of x is 1 and it is a non-zero constant polynomial. So, its exponent or the power is 0. You can write x to the power 0. Hence, comparing these two terms, we get the highest power of x is 1. So, degree is 1. In this case, it is a monomial. Why? Because the two terms are like terms. So, they can be added to give how much? 3x. Here also the power is 1. So, the degree is 1. Okay. And the last one is an algebraic expression with two variables. All these three equations or algebraic expressions are in one variable, but this algebra expression of polynomial is in two variables. Here, the power of x is 1. The power of y is 1. Hence, the highest power of variable is how much? 
that one understood so all these four cases we get the degree of the algebraic expression is 1 and we have to keep in mind that if the degree of the algebraic expression is 1 then such type of expression is known as linear polynomial or linear algebraic expression ok so what is a linear polynomial or linear algebraic expression if the degree of a polynomial is 1 then such polynomial is called linear polynomial understood so what is the condition if degree is 1 here ok so this is linear polynomial Suppose we have some more example in which the degree is more than 1. Okay. With the degree is more than 1. Suppose x square. Okay. x square plus 1. x square plus y square. Let's compare these three algebraic expression. It is a monomial. So the hash power of x is 2. So here the degree is 2. Here it is a binomial in one variable. Okay. Here the exponent of x is 0 and here is 2. So hash power is 2. Hence the degree is 2. Here it is a polynomial in 2 variable. And here the exponent of the hash power is 2 and also the hash power is 2. Hence the total hash power is 2. So all these three cases we get the highest degree or the highest power of the polynomial is 2 and if the degree of the polynomial is 2 then such type of polynomial is called quadratic uh, expression okay or quadratic polynomial so what is that quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial okay so if the degree of the polynomial is 2, then such type of polynomial are known as quadratic polynomial. Understood? Then quadratic polynomial is clear, then comes to the degree of the polynomial more than 2. Okay. So suppose we have x cube, x cube plus y cube, x cube plus ax plus x square. In these three cases, let us compare. Here the degree is 3 because the hash power is 3. Here also the hash power 3, hash power 3, so the total hash power is 3. It is also in polynomial in one variable and consists of 3 terms. Here it has power 1, it has power 2, it has power 3. So the hash power is 3. Clear? So, if the polynomial having has power 3 or if they have the degree 3, then such type of polynomial are known as cubic polynomial. Okay. What are they? Cubic polynomial. Understood? So, for a cubic polynomial, the degree must be how much? 3. Okay. If degree is 3. Here, then some more examples. Suppose we have x to the power 4, x plus x square plus x to the power 4, x square plus y square plus x to the power 4. Then, in such cases, for the first example, we have the highest power is 4, hence the degree is 4. Here, it has degree 1, it has degree 2, it has degree 4. So, highest power is 4, hence the degree is 4. Here the hash power is 2, here is 2, here is 4. So the hash power is 4, hence degree is 4. So in all these three cases, the highest power or the degree of the polynomial is 4. And if the polynomial have the degree 4, then such type of polynomial are known as biquadratic polynomial. Okay, biquadratic polynomial. Where so, for bi-quadratic polynomial, the degree must be 4. Okay. So, condition is if degree must be 4. Clear? So, we can easily determine the degree of any 
polynomial. And as we have already read that the degree of a non-zero constant polynomial like 2, 2 is a non-zero constant polynomial or 3, then what is the degree of such type of polynomial? Here in this case 2 can be written as 2 into 1 that means 2 into x to the power 0 and the hash power is 0. So the degree will be how much? 0. For the case of 3 was written as 3 into 1 that means 3 into x to the power 0. So here also degree 0. So finally the conclusion is that for any non-zero constant polynomial the degree will be always 0. Okay. But for zero polynomial, for zero polynomial, like zero, zero is the zero polynomial, okay? For zero polynomial, the degree cannot be determined, okay? For this, degree cannot be determined, can be determined, okay? So, we have studied all these things about the degree of polynomial. So in the next class, we will study about the zeros of polynomial. Till then, thank you.